excited to be able to see you today. Now, what I will be drawing for you today is, uh, we're going to be drawing a star, but a good star, not a naff star. We're going to draw a good star, but I'll show you how to draw easier ones as well. But we're going to show you how to draw a five point star um, and make it look really good. Um, hi, Poppy and Isaac. Hello. Um, I, we're going to be doing, um, what we're going to be doing, a space turtle, but pretty much how to make any any little creatures that you might be wanting to spend or send up into space, how to make them spacey, give them a little space suit. Um, we're going to be drawing planets, how to make them look round. And we're also going to be doing a funky alien. Ooh, interesting. So mums and dads, grown-ups, go and get your cups of tea. Get yourself started. Do you like my starry cup that I've got? That's from my mum. My mum's watching now. Oh. And uh, my mum helps me do these sessions and she's very, very good at helping me get it, get these things together. Make sure that, you, that it's something that you can all do. So we have to give, we, what, what I want you all to shout is, thank you, Sarah's mum. <laughs> and I bet she can hear you if you shout it loud enough. <laughs> Oh, she'll be overjoyed if you said that. Now, okay, now we are going to move on to do some, do some little. Imagine they've got, they've all got little weights that they're lifting. Give those, give those fingers and thumbs a good lift. Oh, my mum's watching on in, on Instagram now, and she's just giving a little love heart. Oh, Dexter shouted, "Thank you, Sarah's mum." Oh. There you go, Mum. <laughs> My mum was a teacher. Mum was a teacher for 30 years, so she knows her business. Oh, ta Sarah's mum, Leslie. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Lovely. Okay then, so today, first things first, we are going to do a star. Let me get my colours. Ooh, these are the ones that I'm restricted to. <laughs> I hope you've got more colours than me, but if not, don't worry, you can get super creative now shall i go easy or hard first let's do i'll show you a really good it's easy but it looks really good <laughs> so i'll show you this one first okay so this is a star and what we're going to do is i just want you to draw one line now bear with me this will look really good Okay, so I've got one line down the centre. Can you see? I'm drawing it over here because I'm going to be drawing lots of stars. Then I want you to draw about, so if you see where halfway down is, I'm going to go a little bit, just a touch up, and draw a line across. I want it to be quite big because we're going to go smaller now. So next I want you to draw another line going through here but it's going to be a shorter line okay so you watch me so it's going to be doing a cross through the center can you see and do the same on the other side there we go then so now does it can you can you imagine now it's like a pizza isn't it like you're cutting up a big pizza Next, I want you to draw more lines going through each bit. Now, if you, I mean, it doesn't matter as long as you kind of draw, looks good if you go through each piece, each piece of pizza. But this one's going to be even smaller. So watch me. One there. I've got to make sure I'm paying attention here now. One there. One there. And one there. So when you look from far away, doesn't it look like a twinkling star? Like it's having a lovely twinkle. Hey. So, I think Iris, let's have a look. Iris, oh, got some friends talking to each other as well. That makes me happy. Okay. So, next star. Now, for this one, I want you to, if you've got some colours, to pick up a colour, the colour that your star is going to be. My star is going to be, 
purple. And I'm going to draw it. Now this is going to be how you can draw a really good star. So are you ready to join me? You have to pay attention. So what I want you to do is to start to draw a big A or A, a capital A. So I'll show you how, but without the line through the middle, okay? Just like that. I want to draw it a bit bigger because I can. How are we doing? So it's level at the bottom. Then, if you think about where halfway down is on your on your uh, ah, so mine's there. I'm going to draw a line a bit further up than that, round about here. Okay, and this line is going to go out further than where these lines are. Does that make any sense? So if I were to go and follow this where this one ends up here. I'm going to go a bit further out. So if you watch me, draw a line across the same side, same amount on the other side. Can you see? So it's like a really big capital A ah at the moment, isn't it? Ah. Okay. So we've done that. We've gone out a little bit further. And then I want you to join up these, these end bits here. So I'll show you what, how. So we've got, so imagine this A ah was an alien with arms and these are his legs. We're going to join up one arm with the other leg. So watch me. There's one. So can you all do that for me? Join up one arm with the other leg and our Ah, alien, I guess, but it's not going to be an alien, it's going to be a star. All right, then we're going to take the other arm and join it up with the other leg. And that should make you a nice, lovely star. <laughs> now, the best thing about doing this in the colour means that when you're colouring this in, you can cut, you can scrub out all these extra lines that you've done and if you want to make it look really really good if you put a little dot in the middle of your star and colour outwards from the uh, from the middle now do you remember me telling you that little trick that I had about keeping things in the lines if you put your finger your other the finger on your other hand near the edge and just colour outwards Gonna be able to do it all the way around with mine because I can't move my paper around. <laughs> but you can see how it'll start to look quite good. So everyone colour in their stars. No need to rush, is there? This is just some nice colouring time now, isn't it? outwards from the centre of your star. How are we all doing? Of course I've made my star absolutely massive. <laughs> but it's good to do that so it means that everybody can see nice and clearly. Maybe some grown-ups are going to start drawing some nice stars. Or maybe our grown-ups are having a nice little break and having a cup of tea. Which I think is very important. Anybody who knows me knows I am a big believer in tea. Okay. So it looks like it's shining from the inside, doesn't it? doesn't matter if you make mistakes. You can keep practicing and things, can't you? If, uh, if, you've, if you're doing it in pen or if you've got a pencil, you can just rub it out, can't you? 
How are we doing with our stars? I'm going to draw. Well, shall I draw a black line around my star? Hmm. Oh, hello, Freya. Lovely to see you. Oh, was Jacob watching as well? Let's see. I'm going to draw a black line. I've got time to draw a black line around my star. No, I'm going to move on to my next star. So this star, if you had trouble with the last star, this is a good in between -y star. Colonel Tom is, is a shining star today. Oh, Linda. <laughs> Lovely. So let's see. Ooh, just turn you a touch Facebook. There we go. So I'm going to draw another type of star here. Now this is a, is a star of St. David. Star of St. David, I think it's called. And this is where all you have to do is draw a triangle and then on top of it draw an upside down triangle. You see, and then you can colour that one in. And that can be another star. Imagine if you had in your space story lots of different types of stars up in your sky all different colours wouldn't that make it look lovely and one way now we've had Mila and, and uh, Alina who've done some gorgeous poems which I am super impressed with because doing poems doing doing rhyming is very hard and rhyming is when you do when you use words at the end of a line that sound the same, so cat and hat. Now they um, did some, um, had used black paper and to make their stars, they flicked paint. Now you have to do this with a grown up, don't be doing this by yourself. <laughs> but if you flick white paint using, using a knife and a, and a paintbrush, or just your finger and a paintbrush, and flick white paint onto black paper, that can make some lovely stars. Maybe you want to do different colours. Okay, so I'll quickly write out the star for you because I've been forgetting about writing it. Star. There we go, a shining star. Okay, let's get ready for our next one, shall we? Keep that on, on there for a moment. Uh, our next one is going to be a space turtle. I love this idea of a space turtle. I've not written down the lovely children that have, that have suggested it. If you're watching my space turtle requester, give me a shout and I'll uh, pop your name out. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, right. So let's have a nice space turtle. Oh, Emily's star is pink. Lovely. Uh, hi, hi from Freya and Pepper and Culture too. It's our first time and we're loving it. Oh, lovely. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Fantastic. Uh, right, let's make sure I've got all the colours ready. Right, so our space turtle. What we need to do, now imagine on your, on your piece of paper, because we don't want to do too, too big, too big, but we also want to fill the page, don't we? So... I want you to imagine where where its shell is going to be. So its shell is going to be quite big. Imagine where its head, where its tail is going to be. Okay, and we're going to start at the head. Now, I, to make life easier for myself, I'm just going to do it quickly and green and colour it in first because this is going to be a nice green head. But I will go around the outside of it. I'll show you how to do the line because you want it to have a little bit of a nose don't you our little turtle okay so you go do a little swoopy line it could just be part of a circle if you like I don't know why I've made it quite so swoopy nice line for our head for the top of our head and then you can see where I'm going to go this looks a bit like a leaf doesn't it so there's the bit of our head and let's draw on 
nice little eye with a little shine in it. My shine's a bit green. <laughs> and a nice smile. It's a lovely, friendly turtle, isn't he? Little space turtle. Now, our space turtle, if he's going to be going up into space, he needs something to give him some air, doesn't he? So we're going to draw a nice round space hat. I wonder what the actual terminology is for this. I should have spoken to my husband beforehand. Oh, our first time. Molly and Grace love the stars. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Molly and Grace. Thank you. Helen, I hope you're getting a nice, uh, nice break as well. Lovely. So let's draw a nice round space hat. Now we're only drawing part of it, like that, like a big curly cur. Then we're going to join those edges up because it's not just a big blob, is it? He needs to have it sticking to his body somehow, doesn't he? So let's just put a little bottom to this space hat on. Can you see? Now I do realise that he is just a little head in a blo in a in a fish bowl right now it looks like doesn't it we're going to draw some more now this is a little bit of a trick that we can use to make this round shape look like a sphere which is like a a real life not just a flat piece of paper but something round and this is the trick that we're going to use a little bit with our planets but i'll show you in more detail later but all we have to do is imagine if you draw a little dotted line. Can you see where I'm drawing my dotted line? It's almost like a little extra curve on our little space hat. So if you draw some lines, can you see what I'm going to do here? Just some lines next to each other from the edge of the hat to that little dotted line. Can you see? And that makes it look like it's a sphere. Another thing you can do is do the little triangle, the little curved triangle. And I'll show you how to do that. You can all see. So if you draw a line that follows the edge of our space hat, and then another little line going in, and then join the two together, with another line and it's kind of like a bit curved isn't it because you're only catching the edge of the circle and you can either keep that like that or you can colour it in. I'm going to colour mine in. Why not? Okay then we're going to draw the rest of our turtle and a little, another little tip on how to make it uh, look like it's in space. So I'm going to draw a nice uh, shell so we're going to start from the inside of our little space hat because you can uh, see that he's uh, stuck to a body and he's going to be his shell's going to go right round here. Are we ready? We're going to do the whoop, whoop, going right the way round, and then we're going to do another curved line underneath, but not quite as curved. Or you can do it flat if you like, if that's going to make it easier. But if you do it a little bit curved, it looks a little bit more real. That's all the fun of drawing, isn't it? Doing things that look a bit real. Okay. So there's a bit of our shell. Um, yes. Okay. Maybe I'm just going to do a little bit of that little lininess there, just to show that that's all covered up by the uh, space hat. Then I'm going to get, I'm going to pick up a green here, but you can colour all this in if you like. Uh, oh no, hang on. No, nope, I'm going to do a space belt next. Space belt. We don't want to be without a space belt in space, do we? Our little turtle. Okay, so for this space belt, again, you can either do it straight down or you can do it on a little curve. Like this, so it looks like he's got it on. He's got to be a nice thick space belt. Just like that, just around his middle. And I think there's going to be a little display. So let's draw a little box in there. With a little 
pull that and then maybe there's some special buttons and dials that we can put on there in all different colours. Put them wherever you want to put them. Good if they go in a little grid if you can. There's not much to do with it to be fair. Let's get a green in there as well. It's the noise that the blinky uh, blinky noise that it makes, isn't it? Blinky noise. No, I don't really know what I'm talking about here, do I? Right. <laughs> Got into alien mode. Right, so now we're going to draw the parts of the shell. So we're going to go like this. Can you see? Just need to be I'm trying to think best way to describe this. If you draw, if you imagine that there's um, a line around the top of this shell, and that's what you'll be kind of be doing these are, can you see? You just want the lines. So these are like the little shell markings, aren't they? Not absolutely vital, you can just colour it in green if you like. Can you see? And then they could just be blobs. They look great. I know they will. You guys have been doing such brilliant drawings for me. I've been so proud. Okay, so our space turtle has got his belt on. I think he needs to have his legs. So let's draw some nice lines for his legs. So what's going to happen is, so we've got one line coming forward like this and it's going to swoop backwards because a turtle is a, a tortoise of the sea. It's one that it's a one with the shell that has little flippers isn't it? So we need to draw his little flippers. So can you see I've done an L and then a line coming down next to that L and then I want you to draw a line joining those two together, just like that. We'll do the same at the back. And now, and a line, just like that. And then a line drawing the two together. There we go. I mean, maybe he's got little space boots on. I mean, I don't really know how on earth our little uh, turtle's going to cope in space. I hope he's going to have somebody looking after him. Let's draw some some boots. Do, does anybody remember how I draw boots? So we draw the top of the boot there and then we draw a circle that's in half. Boop! Then we extend that bit on one side, if you watch me, and join it at the other side. So maybe he's got some space boots on feel a bit, bit, bit cruel not putting one on the other side, so I'll put one on the other side as well. He could be a tortoise now, couldn't he? <laughs> Can't see his legs to tell the difference. So maybe this is your space tortoise. There we go, he's off. He's on his way. Let's give him a little tail as well. <laughs> How are we doing with our space turtles? Oh, Emily's turtle looks cool. Awesome. Lovely. Good job, Emily. Okay, and then I'm going to quickly write out turtle somewhere where you can see it. Because some of my watchers would like to know how to spell it. There we go. And at least you know what it is then, don't you? Okay, so I'm going to move on to our next one, which is the planets. Ooh, what are we going to do for our planets? Well, we are going to, first things first, I'm going to show you how you can make your planets look spherical. So it's very similar to the way that I've done it with the, um, with the hat in the first one, with the, the hat on the turtle. And spherical is, is the, a circle that you see in real life, like a ball. 
because you see lots of shading and things underneath the ball, don't you? You don't see a, if you're just seeing something that looks like that, that could be a planet, couldn't it? It's a circle. But I want to show you how you can make it look more real, like it's right in front of you. So I'm going to draw the moon as our way of showing you. So, are we ready? Let's draw a nice circle to begin with. You can do this in black because oh, oh, this is a bit of a dodgy circle. I'm going to try and get that looking a bit better. See, all this practice that I get drawing and I still have trouble sometimes. Is that any better? It's a bit better. <laughs> We'll get there. Okay, so a nice circle. That's going to have to do, isn't it, kids? Right. So, how to make our circle look more like a sphere. So I want you to imagine that there's a another circle inside that circle. So if I... No. So if you were to look at that the edge of that circle there and you were to carry it on to make a smaller one. Does that make any sense on the inside? So if you watch me, I'm going to draw a dotted line. I don't know if you managed to do that on yours. I wasn't too sure how you'd do with it. Can you see? I'm just going to make sure I get this right. Can you see? It looks like there's another circle on the inside. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to draw some lines. Just some, and if you've got a pencil, this is a really good time to just do, do it lightly with a pencil. Do it lightly if you've got a grey pencil, even better. Again. It's one of those things where it turned out all right when I've tried it on this whiteboard. Sometimes it doesn't look quite right, so hopefully this looks okay. Can you see what I've done there? Oh, Yusuf and Malik's drawings are great. Oh, because of your help. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Amani. I'm really, really loving um, seeing Yusuf and Malik's drawings. They're so lovely. So, shall we turn this uh, this into a moon? Shall I show you how to make it into a moon? What a moon has is craters, isn't it? So all you have to do is draw, so we draw squashed circles like that, but they're going to be on little angles. Can you see? Just like that. Maybe if you try draw them where I draw them. Just like that. Different sizes. I'm just going to start do three and keep it simple. Simple is best. Then, well, don't know why I've just drawn that off because I'm going to show you again something. We're going to make draw some sides on our craters. Can you see? So just little slopey sides. So let's draw some little sides on our craters. Lovely. Maybe a little bit of another few lines or bits of shading, just like that. Can you see? And that just makes it look all the more real. Which, let's be honest, that's what we want, isn't it? How are our moons looking? Just nice and simple. It's the best way. Oh, right. So we've got our moon, I think we need to draw Saturn. How are we doing on time? Okay. Let's draw Saturn. Now, to start with our Saturn, I'm not going to draw a full circle. If you've got a pencil, I would draw a full, full circle first, because it means you can rub out the extra bits that we're going to draw the rings around Saturn. Um, but if you've just got pens, just follow along with me. If you've got pencil, I want you to draw a nice round starting point. I might draw one just so at least you know what I'm uh, talking about. Just lightly in there. Oh, I did all right with that one. 
There we go. <laughs> so what I want you to draw, so if you've got a pet, if you've got um, pens, don't draw that orange one. That's just a little guideline. But if you draw half of it, half of your circle, so you follow me in black. You see? Just draw that as a dotted line, shall we, for now? So we know that that's not the definite. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to draw the rings around Saturn from here. So let's draw one in purple. And what we're going to do is, you see where the bottom of that, uh, oh, what's the word, semicircle, is on the edge. If you go a little bit further up, and what you're going to do is draw a little curly cuff. Can you see? Super clear. Little curly cut on each side. The more kind of pointy you can make your curly cut, the better. You see what I mean? Then I'm going to join them up with a curvy line. Okay, then I want you to grab another colour because I'm just going to make it a bit more of a funky rainbowy satin. Ready? And we're going to follow the line round again. There we go. Can you see what I'm doing? How's that? Can you see? Let's do it with something a bit brighter. An orange. Oops. There we go. Because drawing the rings around Saturn is quite difficult, isn't it, to get that right? I think this is a good way for you to do it. Okay, I'm going to do. You can do as many colours as you want around your satin. Then we're just going to follow our the bottom of our uh, satin, the bottom of the circle, down from underneath there. There we go. You can colour that in whatever colours you like. I'm going to do again, I'm going to do the little trick for making it look more like a circle, but I'm doing it another colour. Because, hey, why not? Let's get crazy. Do, do, do lots of little lines. I think this is turning out okay for you guys. I don't think they look too bad. But you can colour in. If you wanted to kind of do this as and make it look even more effective, you could do red around the around this side and then do orangey colours and yellow and focus yellow around this part can you see so it's kind of all going round in big circles all from this little focal point here anyway there's that and then i'm going to show you how to draw an earth as well so for earth i'm going to pick up my blue there's the thing to draw my circle with. And let's get a good circle drawn here now. Come on, Sarah, we can draw a good circle. Deary me. Look at that. <laughs> How are we doing? Emily's is amazing. Oh, fantastic, Natasha. <gasps> you must be very proud of your little artists. So now for our earth, we're going to draw some blobby islands. Now, if you know what the islands on earth look like, then you have a go at doing this. But I'm just going to keep this blobby and interesting. So 
I'm going to do two blobs from the sides. Can you see? It looks like a big lava lamp, doesn't it? Let's draw another little island blob there. Maybe another little island blob down here. And we'll give it a little colour. As we all know, it all looks better once you add some colour to it, doesn't it? You have all been doing some lovely colouring for me. I've seen some beautiful colouring. So if you send some pictures in, if you can try and colour them in for me, that makes me so, so happy to see. But if you're not in the mood, that's also fine. It's your drawing, isn't it? You do what you like with it. So I've got my islands nearly coloured in. How are you guys doing? Now you can colour in. You see? Oh gosh, I've got a job on now, haven't I? Committing now. I'm going to make my earth look really, really good. And then we're going to move on to our alien after this. It's exciting, isn't it? Let's start to think about what we can do on my alien. I thought I would do a nice googly eyed alien. Mums and dads, this is a great way, isn't it, to have a bit of relaxing time, isn't it? Whilst all this colouring's going on. Oh, lovely. Nearly there. Okay, and you can even even leave a little white bit at the bottom for uh, a south pole, a little white bit at the top for your north pole if you like. I think it looks just fine just being blue and green to be honest. How are we doing with our colouring? Oh lovely. Okay, so those are our planets. I'm going to do this in a smaller pen because uh, I may not have space to do it in my big thick one. So let's just quickly write out. Lovely, Saturn. Parents, if you think I'm writing a little bit strangely, it's because I'm writing backwards. Because everything's all flipped around in uh, Liveville. And over the last few weeks, I have gotten more and more confident with writing backwards. So here we are. There we go. So we've got Moon, Saturn and Earth. Well, we've got an exciting one to finish on, haven't we? Let's get going on our alien. He's going to look amazing. Are we ready? So, to draw our alien, I want you to think about, so, just quickly show you. See my alien here? Can you see he's got a pupil, the middle part of his eye, and then he's got the coloured part of his eye. And then he's got the white part of his eye, hasn't he? So I want you to think about what colour your alien's eyes are going to be. Because I'm going to include that in your bit here. Oh, I love Scarlet's face turtle. Good. Is it Scarlet the request? I'm so sorry for not remembering. Oh, Marianne's got some nice eyes uh, coming, have we? Right, so let's start with our eyes now. I'm going to draw some googly eyes up at the top. You can draw as many of these eyes as you like. I'm going to draw three and then we're going to draw an alien body and some feet and some arms. But, you, but the best thing about aliens is that you don't know. Nobody knows what they look like, do they? So you draw as many arms, legs, mouths, teeth, heads, whatever you want to make your alien look more fun. So I'm going to draw three. Probably should just draw two for time, but let's see how we go. <laughs> okay, 
So what we're going to start with is I want you to draw a V. Can you see that V? And I want you to draw it in the colour that your eyes are going to be. So I've got brown eyes. I don't know if you can see my eyes. <laughs> Probably not. Um, it's too dark and dreary outside. So draw your V and then draw a circle around your V. Looks like Pac-Man going upwards, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. I'm going to use this opportunity to have a little bit of colouring to make it less complicated for me afterwards. Okay. And then I want you to get a black. If you've got a black or a pencil or whatever it is that you've got, the closest thing. And I want you to draw up half of that V. Can you see where I've gone there? Okay. And then draw another circle on the inside of your circle. Does that make any sense? I may do it a bit of an easier way, actually, on the next one. Can you see? I'd like to show you how you can do it starting with a black. Do a little V, go around it, make a Pac Man, colour it in. Or you could go make your V go further up. Follow your circle around. Colour it in. So this is going to be part of our lovely eye. Okay. Let's draw two now. We're on our way. Next. I'm using a black. I'm going to draw the outside of our eye. It's very funny, doesn't it? So we're going to draw a circle around that eye. Can you see? And in that circle, at the top, we're going to do a little line just like that. Can you see? And then at the bottom, we're going to draw almost like a little sausage on the bottom, which is going to be the bottom of the eyelid. Can you see? <laughs> I'm going to swap a little bit of green on. Okay. I'm going to do the same with this eye. I'm going to draw a big circle around it. Another way you can do it is by stopping your circle at the bottom and then drawing your sausage at the bottom. Whichever way you like best, you decide. And then a little eyelid at the top. Ooh, it's going to be a cool little eye alien, this, isn't it? Let's just quickly draw another eye. You can draw as many eyes as you want because you can just join them onto your alien at the end, can't you? Maybe they're all different sizes, maybe they're different colours. I should have done a purple one for this one, shouldn't I? Or a different colour, like orange or something crazy. Big alien eye. Big sausagey blob and then an eyelid. There we go. So we're going to leave those at the moment and we're going to get on with the body and then we're going to join them up to the body at the end. Okay. So you decide what colour you want your body to be. I'm going to make my body orange. <laughs> it's going to look a bit like uh, like my Alan the alien. Five eyes, puppies. Goodness me, Sophie's is blue. Ooh. I'm excited to see some of these aliens. Now, my alien is going to be like Alan the alien and he's going to be balloon shaped at the bottom. You'll see what I mean. Ready? Woo! 
And I'm going to colour him in here, or at least give him a bit of colour. I'm sure you guys are going to colour this in a lot neater than this. Okay. Oh, goodness me, it's gone very dreary outside. Good time to be colouring, isn't it? Right. Oh dear, I'm sure you guys are doing a much better job than me at this colouring. There we go. And then we're going to have... Now, if you, you guys do your colouring, see if you can do your colouring afterwards or if you haven't finished your colouring, do it afterwards. I'm just going to leave some white blobs for where his teeth are going to go. <laughs> Else he's going to have orange teeth, he's not going to look very nice, is he? Let's draw on a nice mouth for our alien. And some cheeks. And then add those teeth. Oh, dear me, what am I like forgetting about his teeth? There we go, and then we're going to draw some legs. I'm going to make my legs purple. See, little sticks on the bottom. Then I'm going to do my legs like frog's legs. So what we're going to do is draw those C's. Do you remember us doing those before? And then just pop some little lines off for his little toes. Try again, C. And then join it all together some lines on for those toes. Lovely. I'm not going to bother colouring that in. Um, next, because I've done it in purple, next we're going to have some super cool hands. Now again mine's just going to have two hands but you can add as many hands and arms as you like. I'm going to colour my, uh, my hands in though. Cause I think it looks a bit sad if he hasn't got coloured in her. Hands. Look like broccoli, doesn't it? My alien's got five fingers. There we go. Lovely. Oh, quite fancy some broccoli. Now we're going to draw some. Nice little, like, imagine those eyes are like helium balloons coming off this alien. And there's a wiggly line. Woo! Coming off. There we go. Maybe my alien eats lots of vegetables and that's why he looks so much, because it looks a bit like a carrot now on the top, doesn't he? This is where you can add loads of fun details, isn't it? got wiggly wiggly strands as me off his body with these these eyes on remember you can always make your aliens different textures and things as well can't you so you could make him a bit fluffy or maybe smooth maybe you want to make it add a little shine on him. That might look like a nose if I do it though, so I won't do that. What do we think about the alien? Let's write alien down somewhere on here, shall we? Ah! La. It. Eh. Nah. There we go, there's our little alien. Bring a colour in his legs. Feel the need to do it. Can't look and can't leave him not coloured in now. I'm getting obsessed. I'll draw around the outside afterwards. How are we all getting on? <laughs> now isn't this nice? I've got my mum watching on WhatsApp on WhatsApp on their Instagram, and I've got my dad watching on Facebook. I wonder if they're in separate rooms. <laughs> there we go. Let's 
So, I want to see some pictures. If you're not, if you're not, don't usually send in pictures, please. Like whatever it is that they look like, I think you should be so, so proud of them. Don't worry about what other people put up or anything like that. It is not a competition because the fact is, especially on Space Adventures Week, all of them look different, don't they? It could be a big squiggle alien. I think you should just be so proud of what you've achieved today. What do we think? Of our super cool aliens. What time are we on now? We're nearly coming up to time to finish now, aren't we? Let's just leave you a bit longer. Making sure you get all your details on your aliens. Oh dear, we may have got that one. Now. I've got all my pens away now. That was a mistake, wasn't it? smudged it. Oh dearie me. Lovely job. So if you do have any uh, pictures to send me you can either pop them straight onto my Facebook wall as their own post I'll probably end up reposting them because I'm so proud of, everything, of all the work that everyone's been putting in. Or you can just send them to me. I'll be looking forward to getting our gallery together. If you could make sure you send them to me by 12 o'clock tomorrow at the very latest. It means I've got a chance to put them together. And we can see if you get into the wall of fame. On my pages and we can see all our fabulous space adventures all together how are we all doing I'm gonna bring you back oh Sophie's is a star monster <gasps> love it absolutely love it <gasps> just to see how our stories are coming along as well I've seen some lovely stories so far I'm so so proud of you <gasps> been so so good so we'll have to make sure make, please please make sure that you send me um send me your stories and your pictures shoe foxes in space next sarah hey maybe <laughs> off they go going on a quest of them i'll have to get get them some something to go after like some cake or some shoes or something interesting um, so, um, yes, please, please make sure that you send me your pictures and your stories. If you want to read out your story on film, that would be amazing. I'd love to see that. Um, I know that Poppy Miller has done that for me in the past. Um, and that's been lovely to see. Oh, lovely. Well done, Sophie. Oh, we've seen some lovely, lovely pictures so far. Um, so yes, please, please, um, Instagrammers, um, feel free to email them to me or message or um, message them to me. Or some people have been tagging me on posts on uh, in, on Instagram, so I get to see those. If you do that on Facebook on your own profiles, it's a bit funny about letting me see. So if you just post it to my wall or post it to the um, uh, post it onto uh, the pictures thread, which I've got pinned to the top of my uh, Facebook wall. So please add your pictures onto there. I'd love to see them. Oh, no problem, Charlotte. Oh, I've had a, had a lovely time today drawing all our space things. Um, and I hope you've had a lovely time today. Ooh. Um, yes, I will um, get that gallery up then tomorrow evening and uh, see what see what everybody's got together really excited okay then so it's gonna be goodbye from me and we'll get my little weird alien alan the alien and he's gonna say goodbye too lovely to see you uh, amazing session thank you so much sarah and thank you for the girl shout out they loved hearing their names alina and mila oh, lovely to see you so lovely to see you all today oh throw me some love if you've enjoyed the session today please pop some uh, pop some lovely loves on there Think you should be in space because you're a star. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I'm so scared this thing's gonna pop, you know. Oh dear, I think my other half is. He lives in the bathroom now because we're too scared that he's gonna pop. 
sat in here. Oh God. <laughs> I think my little girl can be let loose on it now to see what happens to him. Okay. Oh, well, bye-bye everybody. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. Enjoy your drawing and um, some colouring and make sure you send me some pictures. I'd so love to see some. Woo, very exciting. So I'm going to give big waves, everyone. Thank you so much. Oh, lovely to see you. Bye. Bye everybody.